Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. Today's block is called Strippy Checkerboard. It finishes at 12 inches. Here is the diagram of the block and we'll look at that closer later. Here are four blocks set with sashing and little corner stones. This block was part of the class taught by Winnie Fleming called Strip Tees. It's a retreat class, so you spend three days using strips in your scrappy strips. And I'm going to show you this one block that's part of that class. And this is done with permission from Winnie. Patch A is a one and a half inch finished half square triangle. We cut two and three eighth inch squares cut them in half once on the diagonal. Now for this way, when we cut them on the diagonal, we'll have two triangles. And each of those triangles is called a patch. So we need 12 patches of the black and 12 patches of the white. If you're using AccuQuilt, here are the dies that will cut this shape. Patch B is a one and a half inch finished square. We cut two inch squares. We'll need six patches of the white and six patches of the black. Patch C is a three inch finished half square triangle. We cut three and seven eighth inch squares, cut them in half once on the diagonal for two patches. We'll need four assorted patches for this one block. And here are the AccuQuilt dies for both of these. Patch D is this large triangle here in all of these corners with the strips. And this is how you cut, how you make those strips. You're going to cut a variety of strips, all different widths, ranging from three quarter inches to one and three quarter inches. So you'll take your strips and sew pairs together. So I would take these two, and they get all ravelly because you cut them up and throw them into a big bin. Piece these together and sew the long edge. Now these happen to be the same size. You probably would want to put different size strips next to each other. And you just keep sewing pairs together and then go press them and press them in one direction and then start stitching your pairs together. You want to make this strip set that has all different, it's the width of fabric and it's all different widths of strips. And you want it to add up to 10 inches because we're going to cut nine and three quarter inches off of it. Okay, now we're going to take the, the strip and cut squares. Then we'll cut the squares in half twice diagonally for four triangles. Now these four triangles, you'll see when we cut, the, cut them later that the stripes are going in the different directions once you cut them. So you'll only use two triangles from each of these squares. The other two will be used for a bonus quilt and I'll show you how to make those later. Okay, so page two. Here is how we're going to piece the checkerboard. Then we're going to add the small triangle to the checkerboard and then we'll add the large strip, strippy triangle to the checkerboard and we'll put four of these together to make a, a block. For the bonus block down here, we'll cut a square that's six and seven eighth inches and cut it in half once and we'll get a triangle. That's this blue triangle here. And then sew, that on, sew it onto your strippy triangle. Okay, so that's just a highlight or an overview of what we're going to be doing. If you have a rotating cutting mat, it's going to work really good for this. Here is one of the strips I've done. You can see the different sizes. These are wider and narrower, and there are some that are really narrow. And they're sewn together, and I press them all towards one side. Now the neat thing about this is, you don't have to worry if it's wonky, because this one is pretty wonky. All these strips have been cut and thrown into a box, and then gone through, and so they're all ravelly, and they all get stretched out a little bit, but it's okay, because when you, you're just going to cut a square, you don't care what it looks like. And I use a lot of starch because I think it helps for cutting and helps for stitching. We take this strip and now it's at least 10 inches wide. 
and we're going to cut nine and three quarter inch squares. So I'll use this. And how I do this, this is my zero point. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four. And I look at where I'm placing it, and I look over here at the nine and three quarters. And I see it's right about here, so I'm going to move this over and get as much fabric as I can off of the strip. So, and then here's my nine and three quarter here. I need to move it up some. This one's really close. So I'm going to go with that. So I have enough nine and three quarters here is covered. I'll have a little bit to trim off here and a little bit to trim off here. So we trim, move this, and then trim this top. Probably should have added one more strip here, but we'll, we'll make it work. So now I have the, this top and the side trimmed. I'll take the ruler off, and this corner, I want to rotate it till it's down in the lower left over here. Okay, now we'll put the ruler back, and our zero point is still in the same area, and I'm going to place it on the nine and three quarters here, and the nine and three quarters here. Line these two up and then trim the rest. Okay. So now we take it off. Here's our square. And we take our longer ruler and we're going to cut this twice on the diagonal. These are all in the instructions. Remember when you're cutting these pieces twice to hold one end of your ruler over here, hold it down, and then lift this up like a lever and then pick it up. Because you don't want it to slide across the fabric, it'll move the fabric. Then we'll turn it like this, a quarter turn, and put the ruler down the same way, just kind of make it a little lever, and then cut. Okay, so now you have four strippy triangles. You'll notice that these are going in this direction and these are going in this direction. You want the ones that are going this way. So we'll put these in one stack. That's going to be for our bonus quilt. And this goes in the other stack too. And these are the stacks we're going to use right now. Okay, so let's cut one more. Then here are our bonus blocks, go in one stack, and these, the strippy ones going, they're all strippy, they go on the stack we're going to use right now. All right, I was doing a little bit of scribbling down here, and I'll write these out for your instructions. But if you want 20 blocks, that's 20 like this, you'll need to make 10 of these strip sets. Okay. So let's look at step one. We're going to stitch the checkerboard. And we'll just look at the diagram and piece them together like this. Here are my black and white triangles and squares. So you'll have one set of checkerboard with white squares and one set with black squares. So if we take the white square and then we'll take you have to keep looking at this. Piece these like this and like this. Then you'll piece two of these. Another one just like it. Those will go together. They'll go like this actually. And then we have one more that goes like this. And then this triangle goes at the top. Goes like this. 
So if you break it down, it's really easy. You'll do this, so I'll make two of these, press your seams open, and make one of these, and press your seams open. Then you'll start sewing these together. So I'll do this one, and then for the black squares, you do the same thing, only everything's reversed. And so you'll do two of these, and then a single one. You'll make two sets of the white and two sets of the black. We have our checkerboards partially done, and here's what they look like. So we'll end up with two of each of these. This kind of looks strange when you're first starting to do it, so let me just take everything else out of the way so you can see. You'll have two like this, and just remember that you need the full width to go on top of each other. A lot of times you want to piece it like that. Well, that won't work. So just remember it's a checkerboard and you have one seam in the center to match. So you'll flip this over and then stitch quarter of an inch all the way across here. And press your seams open. And then the same thing with this piece. You have one seam to match. Our little checkerboards are done. Now we'll just need to put the block together. We'll start by putting the individual pieces together. So we'll take our strippy triangle and we're going to sew it on the long side of the checkerboard. I also have a stack of these patch C triangles. And I like to kind of alternate the light and the dark so since this is a light background, I would put a dark triangle there, but you don't have to do that. That's just me. So we'll just flip this over, match these edges, and you want to make sure you have your pretty points here. As you're stitching, you'll start here at a quarter of an inch, stitch down, and then stitch right above this point so your points won't be, get cut off, and then continue stitching your quarter of an inch down. Press the seams open, then do the same thing with this triangle. I would flip this over, and then I would sew it like this. So you can stitch your quarter of an inch here and stitch right above that point so you won't cut your points off. And press your seams open. Now since I only had two strip sets, I'll have two of the same pieces in this block but normally I would want to mix them all up completely, but I'm go going to put two in the same because that's what I have. So now I'll stitch these together and show you what it looks like. Here are our two different units finished, and we just put them together like this. Oops, let's see. We alternate the dark and the light checkerboards, and then the small triangle faces inside. Now we simply stitch these two together and these two, press the seams open, and then stitch the two rows together, and then the block will be finished. I'm just going to flip these over and pin them so I'll know which goes where. Then I'll show you how to do the bonus blocks. Here are the bonus pieces. These are the pieces with the long side on the edge that we didn't use for our block. Now these are all the same. We'll take a 6 and 7 8 inch square, cut it in half once diagonally, and you will get two. Here's 6 and 7 8 inch square, cut it in half diagonally, and you get two patches. So we'll sew these together like this. Just flip them over and sew the long seam and press the seams open then I'll show you what that looks like. Now here are the bonus blocks. I've used a light fabric on each of these, so in essence what you have here is a large half square triangle. So any design you can make with a half square triangle, you can do with these, the bonus blocks. I would do this like that. I would mix up the light fabrics a little bit more than this, but you have this and you have this. So whatever you can do with a half square triangle, and then if you have a lot of these, you can make an even bigger quilt with a different design. 
So I'm going, going to sew these together like this and then show you both of the finished blocks. And here is the bonus block. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.